you have ever seen. 12 years ago, Tanya was a healthy 21-year-old college student. She was 5 foot 8 inches tall, and she weighed 130 pounds. But today, she stands 7 feet tall, and she may not be finished growing. Meet Tanya Angus, a 33-year-old medical mystery. Her story is baffling to doctors and has been seen in headlines around the world. Tanya grew up like so many little girls. She danced, loved horses, and dreamed of all the places she would visit. At 21, her slender, model-like body started morphing into something she didn't recognize. She was diagnosed with acromegaly, a disease also sometimes called gigantism. Multiple surgeries, radiation, and experimental treatments have failed to offer much hope or relief from the debilitating effects. Please welcome Tanya to our set. Thank you, Daniel. When did you first realize that something was wrong? Um, when I was living in Michigan with my boyfriend, when my feet started growing, my hands, and, uh, you know, I, I stopped menstruating, and um, I knew something was wrong. And I went to many, many doctors, and they said, there's nothing wrong with you, and you're just stressed out. Let's do a stress test on you. I said, well, I don't have the money to pay for that, you know. So, when did other people besides you begin to notice that you were changing? Because obviously you went from five foot eight inches tall to over seven feet. P people who loved you must have noticed that. Well, um, I was, since I was living in Michigan, I wasn't around my family. I'd call my mom and I'd be like, Mom, you know, what'd you do to my body? You know, when I was a baby, you know, did you... Did you and dad have an operation on me, you know? And they were like, no, who's telling you this? What kind of operation? Um, I thought that they, maybe I was a man and a woman, you know, and maybe they wanted me to be a female and, you know, but... I didn't feel like a man, just people were telling me, like, you look like a man. And I was like, okay. Um, well, you spoke to your parents. They said you hadn't had an operation. Right. You're seeing doctors that tell you you're stressed out. They didn't make a, a, a connection between your rapidly changing size and possible diagnoses. I guess it, this is a, tr a tragic case for me in many ways uh, yeah. of, of doctors not paying attention to their patients. Exactly. And, and, and I want to apologize if I came to you for all of us in medicine because sometimes we, we do act arrogantly and when we don't understand what's wrong with our patients, it comes out a lot. It does. So can I show you an animation of what I think happened to you? We've got pretty good evidence for this. Absolutely. So, you, you look up here in this wall, there's a small gland in the middle of your brain, and it's called the pituitary gland. And this gland up there is responsible for secreting very important hormones, including growth hormone. This, horm this hormonal secretion increased because the mass began to grow. This tumor, once you hit puberty, got really, really large, the size of a grapefruit, frankly. And it did a lot of things that are very strange. It started to secrete hormones that affected the major organs of the body, including the lungs and the heart. They start to grow, trying to pump more blood to the body. And in your bones, if they're not fused yet, they'll start getting longer and longer as that tumor secretes masses, which means you get bigger, not just your feet and your head, but your jaw gets larger, every part of your body gets larger. And if you compare yourself to who you were, you can't connect. You're not the same person you used to be, which is what strikes me the most when I look at your pictures. So Tanya's sister Susie is here. So you, uh, well, what are Tanya's challenges now? She's not a normal person. People don't treat her normal. They don't look at her normal. And it's hard. It's hard on her, and it's hard on family. But she's been really strong through it. So when we come back, 
I want to share with everyone what we can learn, what we can all learn by walking one day in Tanya's shoes. That's coming up. My new collection of things. Provided by. Tasty little critter scummy. At seven feet tall, be trapped inside your own body. And simple tasks like bathing and getting dressed become impossible. That's the reality for 33-year-old Tanya, whose oversized life recently made headlines across the world. I never thought my life would turn out like this. Hold on to me. That I would be fighting this disorder that ravages your whole body. It's very hard to stand. years is that you never give up on you it's the most important part if i can just speak to everyone about this appearance is just one of the many reasons we may be unhappy with ourselves it, it, you may not like your weight a lot of folks are happy about their height you know you don't like to see what's in the mirror which is what you brought up earlier but we ought to take a lesson all of us from tanya because you know people may look at you and they may see you as you know as, you know, as, a, as a giant but i see you as this courageous a uh, loving, graceful young woman who's found a way to make peace with a diagnosis that has changed your life forever. Yeah. And as long as you have hope in your heart, and hope's not about getting a cure, as much as it's about making sense of what's happened to you, then you're a symbol for all of us. I want to thank you very, very much for being so brave and sharing this program. When we come back, Rich from the headlines continues a month on our page is a sleep. With over 6 million hits on YouTube, it's a viral video that everyone is laughing about. You want to see this? Tomorrow, all new. 